Okay, so some people ask me if they can have their savings used as a substitute for income and just help them qualify for that if maybe they're looking to qualify a little bit easier or maybe if they're lower on income or they have something else going on. Um, this is a possibility, okay? This is also a super uh, popular option with uh, maybe older home buyers with a lot of money saved up uh, from their years working uh, or from wherever they got money saved up from. This can be done. So basically, uh, the way it works is you take an asset that you have and you divide it by 360, which is the number of monthly payments in a 30-year loan. And then you use that resulting figure as a monthly income amount that you then get to use towards qualifying uh, for the loan payment. Okay, so for example, if you had a $500,000 asset and you divided that by 360, uh, you would get $1,388.88 a month in income. Um, now, if you were going to use any of that $500,000 uh, towards down payment or closing costs, you couldn't use that for this monthly payment um, qualifying calculation. Okay, so if you were going to use, um, you know, 100K of that 500K towards down payment and closing costs, you would then not be able to use that full 500K and you would have to bring that down um, to 400K and divide that by the 360 and then it would get you a little over $1,000 a month um, in income that you could then use to qualify for your payment. Uh, now there's a couple restrictions on this. Conventional conforming loans will allow you to do this if you have at least a 30% down payment. And then if you're 62 and older, you only need at least a 20% down payment for this. Um, also, it's only going to allow for employment-related assets, so that's 401ks and retirement accounts. Um, there's even a couple more restrictions on conventional conforming loans, but it, you are allowed to do this. This is possible on that avenue. Um, and then there's jumbo loans. Okay, jumbo loans is a little different. Uh, some jumbo loans allow for more than your 401k and retirement accounts to be used. Um, they might not give you credit for all of the asset that you have though, but um, they let you use more than just you know that type of account. So for example, uh, these numbers I'm gonna run through with you are some numbers that I got from uh, an investor. I think this was Truist. Uh, I believe they're a very solid jumbo lender. Uh, but for example, um, this investor, this jumbo lender lets you use 100% uh, of the amount of your cash, CDs, savings, or money market funds. And then they let you use 70% of the value of your stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Then they let you use 90% of your cash surrender value of life insurance. And then they allow you to use 70% of your retirement funds that can be taken out without penalty. So back to that $500,000 account, um, you know, if, if it was a retirement fund, they would not let you use all of that 500K. They would let you use only 70% of that. And they do that because they know that these accounts are going to uh, rise and fall in value over time if they're um, invested in some stock asset. Uh, but this is a cool way to give yourself an income boost if you've got some savings and you meet some of the requirements. Uh, you got a question about it, let me know. Uh, write a comment below. Um, and then, guys, please subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you very much.